Hello. <laughs> it's good to see you. Today we have some items here from Aldi. Every now and then I'll go in there and I will find things that I have not tried before or maybe it's new things that I haven't seen before and um, and I will go ahead and get them and just try them. I will just have a, a week of, of new, new stuff to try. So that's kind of what I did when I went to Aldi this time. Um, I, really, I went in there to look for it. They had this little um, this uh, little trash can like for a bathroom and a little toilet brush that matches it. Although now that I look at them together, they don't <laughs> they don't really go together. I don't care. It's close enough. They were they were supposed to be like a set. So I went in there, and I'm really glad I got in there when I did because I got the last little trash can. I was very proud of that. Um, yeah, these were things that were on the AOS, the Isle of Shame, this week. And I have found that when they have those little step trash cans, if you don't go in there the first day they have them, they'll be gone. Like, they get gone super fast. So, but while I was in there, I found some other things that I thought I would try. And I also found a couple more things on the Isle of Shame. But we're going to go ahead and do the crinkly stuff first. This isn't my normal shopping trip, so, um... I don't have any love and fresh. I don't have a loaf of that, but I do have some hamburger buns that I can show you. We'll get to those in a minute. Here is an item that looked like it might be quite yummy. I'm not really sure. Now this is um a bag of little chips here. They're quin quinoa chips, sea salt flavor from Simply Nature. Now Simply Nature is a is an Aldi brand that they use for things that are non-GMO. They may be organic um, you know it just, it just depends they're all a little bit different but you just look for the simply nature logo it's usually going to be up here in the corner like this whether it's a box or a, a bag like this and this is a small bag of chips um, it's only three and a half ounces so I thought this would be fun to try I, I've never had these before I've actually never seen them in there before so I don't know if they're any good or not they look kind of yummy <laughs> So I might, um, I might try them plain and then try them with maybe some hummus or even some salsa or something like that just to see how it is for that. So now this is another item that we, this is one thing we do buy pretty frequently. Now this is an item we do buy here pretty frequently from Clancy's. You're going to see the Clancy's name on a lot of chips and snacks in Aldi. It is an Aldi brand. And they have this lovely little oval here in the word Clancy's in the middle. And they have this little window down here and it's shaped like a tortilla chip. These are ranch flavored tortilla chips. If you don't know what they look like, you can see them right through here. Although there's a little bit of the film of the the yummy goodness on the chips, kind of coating the window a little bit, but just look beyond that and you can see them in there. Now this is an 11 ounce bag, and in my Aldi they're only 75 cents for these yummy chips. And I looked in the cabinet the other day and somebody has eaten all the ones we had. So while I was there, I just grabbed another bag. And look at the beautiful blue on this bag, isn't that pretty? And it has a slightly lighter spot right here for some reason. I don't really know why they do that. And these are a big hit around here. So I figured I would replenish our stash while I was there. Okay. Oh, I do have one other uh, crinkly thing. Now, this I also found with the seasonal stuff, Valentine's Day stuff. Now, this is a favorite of mine. This is also from Clancy's. This is a special thing they don't have all the time. Look at the pretty red bow on there. These are white chocolate flavored coated pretzels. And look, the heart on the package is made up of smaller hearts. Isn't that cool? And they're, so they're just little heart-shaped pretzels with, um, they're just, they have that white chocolate stuff on them and red and pink sprinkles. This is a little seven ounce bag of white chocolate flavor coated pretzels. I didn't buy that for anybody but me because I deserve a treat too, especially after the day I've had. If you follow me on Facebook, you know what happened this morning. My car wouldn't start and so I had to have it towed away. 
So we'll find out hopefully tomorrow what's wrong with it. They're not going to be able to look at it today, but maybe tomorrow we'll find out what's wrong with my car. That's how I started my day. <laughs> Fortunately, I have another vehicle to drive, so I'm all right, but that's just a, not the way I wanted to start my day. <laughs> now these are another Aldi treat. These are from Benton's, which if you buy cookies at Aldi, chances are they were made by the little, have the little Benton's name on them. It's tiny, it's right up here in this corner, B-E-N-T-O-N. They had several flavors of these, and these were on in my store. It's on the aisle right past the Isle of Shame, and we call it the Isle of Shame because if you're like me, every time you go down that aisle, you will find something that you didn't intend to buy, and it's, you feel kind of bad. Like, I don't really want to spend $30 on this, but this is a good deal. So it's, it's like a sense of shame, Isle of Shame. Anyway, right past the AOS, you're going to find this aisle that has just these um, seasonal food items or special purchases here today, gone to tomorrow kind of thing. And they had several flavors of these little cookies. These are Benton's Hazelnut Cream Filled Cookies, naturally flavored. Yeah, so it came from natural hazelnut cream, I reckon. But it looks like, see here, you can see they're filled with this hazelnut cream. So I'm thinking it's almost like Nutella or something like that. I don't know. I've never actually tried these before, but it's a 7.05 ounce package of cookies. And they had some other flavors too. Um, I can't remember what they were. There was one that was like a chocolate fudge. And then they had another one that had white chocolate chips and macadamia nuts in it. And these, this little package was only $1.29 for all of these cookies. And it looks like there are eight cookies in here and it's a tray. You can kind of feel the little plastic tray. So I'm thinking there are probably four cookies in each section, like there are two sections. So when you take it out, there's gonna be one here and one here, more than likely, with four cookies in each section. So I don't know, I've never tried these, but I had seen them in there previously and thought about trying them, but I didn't try them. So this time while I was buying things to try, I thought I would try the hazelnut cream filled cookies. Don't they look yummy? I think they look delicious. So I only bought that one flavor. I didn't get any of the other ones. Oh, and on the wall, the, the Isle of Shame, they also have something else. Look at this. Now this is from Easy Home. That is also an Aldi brand. They have this wall plate with a built-in charger. It's right here. And you just, um, you just screw it in. You just take off the wall plate as it is now, and you screw this one in on the back. You, you get a screw for free. You can get a free screw for this wall plate. It has a dual USB. Oh, it has two chargers, one here and one here. And on the bottom down here, there's a night light that comes on at dusk and goes off at dawn. And it's very easy to install according to this. So, yeah. It's, uh, my kids, whenever, um, whenever they're in here, they're always, there's nowhere in here to charge anything. So I saw, I thought something like this might be useful to put into one of the outlets, just to replace the, the wall plate on one of the outlets in here. And then they can charge things. See? And I didn't notice it had the little night light on it. That's pretty cool. So these were, I think they were $10, $9.99 for these, for this wall plate. And um, they only had a couple left and they just put them out yesterday. So yeah, if, you, if you're interested in that, it might be worth going to check it out pretty soon. And they also had this right here. Now with this one, you're going to get two wall plates. And this is also from Easy Home. Now this is a night light wall plate. It does not have a charger on it, but it has the little night light on the bottom. And I got these for, I want to put one in the hallway upstairs because it's, there are no lights really in the hall unless you turn on the overhead light. I don't want that on all night. Put one in the hallway upstairs and one down here in the little hallway because it's the same situation. It's very dark at night and if you're trying to get through, you know, it might be better than trying to turn on a light. 
So you get two free screws with this one. This pack of two. And on the back you can see how they go in. And there's your screw right there and there. And again, these are from Easy Home. And I spotted these on the Isle of Shame. I wasn't aware they were going to have these. But it was something I had been thinking about. And see, that way you can have a nightlight and have your two outlets free. So you don't have a nightlight plugged into it. Plus, it turns itself on and off automatically. You don't have to mess with it. I really like the fact that it leaves the outlets open. So I thought that was very handy. So I'm going to put those to good use as well. And what else do we have? Let's see. Now, I have bought these in the past, but it's been a little while. These are from Earthly Grains. Which is a good, it's an, a good, it's not a Goodwill brand, it's an Aldi brand. And it's ready to serve rice. This is just long grain and wild rice. You just, um, I think you basically just heat it up in the microwave. Cooks in 90 seconds. You squeeze the pouch to distribute the rice. So you're gonna, oh, it's like a brick. It's like a little block in there. So you're gonna have to break up the clump of rice in there. You squeeze it. At either the top right or, t or left notch, you have these little notches here. Either one of these you want. Tear it partially across the top for venting. So you don't tear it all the way part way. Stand the pouch with opening toward the top of the microwave. So like this. And heat on high for 90 seconds. Care is needed in handling the hot pouch. So in, when your 90 seconds is up, don't take it out and immediately pour it down your throat because it's probably going to burn. And don't stick your face in the pouch either. That's not a good way to get a, a steam for your skin. That's a scald. Cooking time for two pouches is two and a half minutes. So, seems like it would be better. Well, okay, I guess that is a little savings of time. Due to different microwave ovens, times may vary. And then you want to refrigerate the unused portion of rice. And then they even have stovetop instructions if you want it to take longer. You squeeze it again to distribute and you pour the contents into a skillet. Add two tablespoons of water and heat it over medium heat, stirring occasionally until heated through. And then you have to serve it immediately. So those people need to be ready to eat as soon as you put it in that pan. Don't let them wander off like my kids do. They do that. You ever do that? You're preparing a meal if you have kids and they just wander off. Like, why do they do that? It's, it's, it's infuriating. Okay, so but this is Earthly Grains again. So that is an Aldi brand. Um, I've been pretty pleased with their products in the past. So like I say, we have had these before. I know I've had the long grain and wild rice. They have two other flavors. Um, I think this is the other one that we tried, the roasted chicken right here. It has herbs and carrots in it. It's just like a, a suggestion of a carrot. It's like the theory of a carrot. It's a little spot right there that kind of looks like a, like a piece of a carrot. It's a molecule. They're very tiny pieces. And the herbs are in there somewhere. I don't know. I can't really see them. But these also cook in 90 seconds. I really like this one. Um, it has a very nice chicken flavor to it. It's really good. You could just eat it by itself. Honestly, it's really good. And the instructions for this are the same. Yeah. So, but yeah, this one, this one is pretty good. The chicken, the roasted chicken with herbs. Um. Yeah, it's really good. And I have a third one. This one is whole grain and brown rice. I don't think I've tried this one. I know I did the long grain and wild rice, but the whole grain and brown rice, I don't believe we've tried that. Ready to serve rice. And it doesn't have any flavoring or any herbs or seasonings in it at all. It's just plain. Um... Yeah, and it's it's so super easy. And these are very inexpensive. I think they're only a dollar thirty-nine for these. And that is eight and a half ounces of cooked rice right there. I mean it's not that hard to cook rice, but 
you know if you're just trying to quickly get a meal on the table sometimes these can come in handy so and they're very small look at them they don't take up much room in the cab in the cabinet so you know it's a nice convenient little thing to have I think and for another rice we have this right here now this one is not pre pre-cooked this is earthly grains New Orleans style dirty rice mix and you can add meat to make a meal and that's what I like to do like I'll just brown some ground beef or if I have some leftover ground beef from something else just mix it in there with it it's really good you don't really have to add anything else to it just a little bit of ground beef um, I've added like um, if I had meat left over from taco night or something even though it has the taco seasoning I don't care I just throw it in there it's still good this is an eight ounce box for this mix so it has the rice in it and the seasoning for dirty rice and it's really good and these are very inexpensive it's parboiled uh, long grain rice and it's let's see it says here you need a pound of ground beef you don't you just add in there whatever you have it doesn't matter and it cooks pretty quickly doesn't take too long like 10 15 minutes on the stove top and it's really good so and it smells really good while it cooks too so again that is earthly grains which is an Aldi brand and like a lot of their other packaging you will notice that they have the little barcode everywhere except on the front so it you know have a nice presentation of the front of the package you're not going to find a barcode there there's one there and there and there they have them on every other surface that way the cashier can scan everything quickly and they don't have to mess with you very much because if you notice they don't have time for your foolishness in Aldi they will get you out of there you just gotta go <laughs> they do not have time for small talk before you can even say hey how are you they got everything rung up which is nice takes a little getting used to though because you know we southerners we like to talk Here's a crinkly thing I forgot. Now this was a seasonal item from Specially Selected. And that's the extra fancy Aldi stuff. The extra snooty Aldi brand for people who don't want people to know they shop in Aldi. I don't care. But this is Herbs and Sea Salt Norwegian Crisp Bread. It's made with seeds, grains, herbs, and sea salt. And it is imported from Norway. Look at these little thin things here. I don't know what I'm going to do with these, but I think these would be really good with like um, some some slices of cheese or something. I thought it would be really good to try with that. So this is, let's see, 6.7 ounces and it's non-GMO. This is what you'll normally find on the Simply Nature items, but this is extra snooty, so it's called Specially Selected and they wrote it here in script. So you know it's good. We have one of these things here like they used to put on packs of crackers, but I noticed they don't anymore, like saltine crackers. They would put this little wired thing on it so you could close it. I noticed they don't come with those anymore. Kind of sad. Oh, they're good until May 9th, 2021, or September 5th. I guess it depends on where it's packaged. You know, here in the USA, we do day, the month and the day and the year. But I know in other places it's month day year I, it, they'll they'll be gone long before may 9th That's not, food doesn't last very long here we don't need to worry about it but look they look very crunchy but i've never tried these before they also had um i believe they had a garlic flavor one i wanted to just try the plain herbs and sea salt this was the only one i got so they had at least one other flavor I believe it was garlic. I'm not sure. Um, oh, I have another crinkly thing. I forgot these. Here we have, and I, I saw these in there last week, and I started to get them, and then I didn't. Um, these are little strawberry hearts. Now, these are also from Benton's. Again, like I said, you see that name on a lot of cookies. In, uh, in Aldi. It comes in this little tray. It looks like gold, but I think it's actually just plastic. It's, it's easy to squish. Look at these little, it's like, it's like they have strawberry jam. 
nestled into the little hearts. They are shortbread cookies with strawberry fruit filling and a milk chocolate base. Oh, I didn't see that. The bottom is coated in chocolate. That's awesome. Oh my goodness, where are these from? Let's see where these were made. Oh, they were made in Germany, so it's got that really good chocolate on them. I love the chocolate that they have in Aldi. It's so good. If you have an Aldi near you and you've never tried some of their uh, German chocolate, it's fantastic. It is so good. It is delicious and it's cheap. It's really inexpensive. Um, and I noticed today that um, one of our Aldis here in Greensboro is store number 12. And I don't know if that's nationwide, but I do know it's an Aldi that has been, it's been in operation for quite a number of years. It's been here, I'd say at least 10 years. So it might have been one of the first ones in the country. I don't, I don't know, but I just happened to notice that on my receipt. I never paid attention to it before. But yeah, so these are little strawberry hearts. How many do you get? Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You get a dozen little strawberry filled shortbread cookie hearts. They just make me happy. Look at them. Look how pretty they are. And this package also comes with a little wired thing, and it's kind of a gold color. They made it extra fancy. This was on this was on the Isle of Shame with some of the uh, Valentine's Day chocolates, like the little boxes of chocolate and stuff. This that's where I found these and the chocolate covered uh, pretzels. They were both on that aisle together. And then, as I mentioned, we do have some hamburger buns. I didn't need any regular bread. But um, we do like to eat chicken patty sandwiches here. And so um, I picked up a package of the Love and Fresh hamburger buns. Look how pretty they are. These are only 55 cents at Aldi for eight lovely little hamburger buns. You'll notice that the LF logo is here in the middle. And it says Lovin, L apostrophe O-V-E-N, Fresh. They also have the little LF Love and Fresh logo up here on the top. And it just goes all the way around. It has that really pretty dark blue band all the way around the top of the bag. And here, this is a total of 12 ounces with your eight hamburger buns. So, I noticed we were out, so while I was there, I just grabbed some of these. And I also got a case of water bottles. You can get 24 bottles of water at Aldi for $1.49, which is, I think it's a pretty good deal. Oh, um, let's see. Oh, here was another item I found that I have never tried. Now, this is another specially selected item. Flatbread crackers. Now, let's see. These aren't, these are just multi-seed flatbread crackers. They don't have any extra uh, flavor or anything with them. That's another thing I thought might be good with some cheese, like they show it here with some cheese and grapes. I thought that might be a nice little cracker to try with some different types of cheeses. What does it say? We believe everyone should be able to enjoy unique recipes and flavor combinations every day. With Specially Selected, our passion for food shines through each of our selections, from our savory snacks and flavorful entrees to decadent desserts. Do have some nice desserts. We are proud to offer you specially selected, picked especially for you. And this is a five ounce box of specially selected multi seed flatbread crackers. Which I like flatbread, but I've never I've never tried these, so I thought it would be a nice little thing to try out. Yeah. And oh, these were on clearance actually. Now here is an Aldi brand we have not seen in quite a while. Southern Grove. Now I used to buy their mixed nuts, but then I discovered that Walmart had a mix I liked even better, so I started buying those. Southern Grove is an Aldi brand that will usually be um, associated with nuts. I guess it's just a grove of nuts. All kinds of nuts. These are salt and pepper cashew packs. These are little 100 calorie packets of cashews flavored with salt and pepper. 
And these were on clearance. They were marked down to $1.99. I think they were $2.99. You get seven little bags in here. Each one is only 0.62 ounces. So, I mean, you know, obviously if you have seven bags in this little box, they're going to be small. These are like airline bags of peanuts, basically. Um, but it's a total of 4.34 ounces here of these little snack packs. Little 100 calorie packets of cashews, which I love cashews. I haven't had any in a while, so I thought this would be kind of nice. I've never tried any that were salt and, and pepper uh, flavored. I've had the ones that are just salted, but I've never tried pepper on cashews, so I thought that would be kind of interesting to try. Yeah, so I don't think it's something they carry all the time. It was on the seasonal aisle with stuff they don't normally carry. So, Oh, this is another thing I wanted to show you that is actually a really good deal at Aldi. Look at this giant pack of batteries. Look at that. This is a 24-pack of AA batteries, and these are only $5.89 for all of these batteries. And I've been using Aldi batteries forever. Now, this past Christmas... I had candles in my windows, and they were a little battery powered. They had, to, you know, they were on a timer, so they would go on to come on and go off at the same time every day. And um, I used up all of my batteries, and I've been meaning to replenish my batteries, and I kept forgetting. And but when I was in there, I saw they don't have these all the time, but sometimes they will have these giant packs, and they also have triple A's, same size, twenty four, for five eighty nine. So when I saw they had these, I went ahead and grabbed some because I was totally out. I had maybe two left after my candles. Um, so this should keep this. This is plenty. It will. We. I will probably have a lot of these left over at the end of the year because um, we don't really use that many. Um, for the the controller for the Xbox, it takes. We have rechargeable batteries that we use in that because it just goes through so many. Um, but the, the, some of these will probably. They'll probably be used for the candles in the windows this coming Christmas because I'll probably still have them. But they're they're great. Oh look, the bar I never noticed the barcode is shaped like a little battery. <laughs> but yeah, their batteries are great. They last. I think they last just as long as the brand name batteries, and they're a lot cheaper. Oh, I have I have large items here, but I'm trying to. I want to show you the other stuff first. Well, here is another Southern, another Southern Grove item. I didn't even notice that until now. This was also on the seasonal food aisle. These are berries and nuts. It's a trail mix and little packets of trail mix in here. And there are eight of them in here. They have peanuts, raisins, dried cranberries, sunflower kernels, and almonds. So yeah, I like to, I like these little snack bags. They're, they're great if I'm out and about and I just want a little snack to take with me to eat this is a perfect little thing to take and just like all of all these brand name items they have the twice as nice guarantee which means if you try this and you don't like it you can take it back to the store they will give you your money back and they will replace it with a comparable item at no charge so it's a wonderful you can't lose it's a wonderful a wonderful guarantee I think so this is the berries and nuts trail mix they had another one back here remember what was in it but this one to me looked more appealing um, I think the other one had M&Ms or you know little candies in it or something was different about it but I just I like this one with the little cranberries and raisins and everything that just was more appealing to me so it's berries and nuts in an eight pack from Southern Grove. Now let's see. Oh, they also, from time to time, will have different types of Special K cereal. Now this is one, I don't believe I've tried this one. I've tried the one that had the little chocolate bits in it. This one has chocolate and almond. Now this obviously is not an Aldi brand. This is Kellogg's Special K, 13.3 ounces. And it looks yummy. So you're going to have little bits of chocolate in there. Naturally flavored with other natural flavors. They're not going to tell you what they are. You probably don't want to know. 
cocoa dusted multi grain flakes. Also, there are chocolate bits. See, the other one had little bits of chocolate in it. So I guess the flakes are cocoa dusted, and then you have little slices of almonds in there. See, that led me to believe it had those little pieces of chocolate. Like They have another cereal that has the little pieces of chocolate, but I guess this is just cocoa dusted flakes with sliced almonds. Okay, that's all right. Look at the pretty package here. Look at that. Isn't that neat? So you have, it's, it looks kind of blue on my screen, but it's actually a dark purple. And it's made with real almonds, because Lord knows the fake ones are a pain. Good thing they put real ones in there. That's hard to find, real almonds. Keep it simple, keep it K. Well, I guess. I don't know, it just looked good to me. And I've never tried that kind. Now here's another thing. This is Nature's Nectar, and that is another Aldi brand. These are little drink pouches here. They're strawberry watermelon flavored. Flavored organic juice beverage blend from concentrate with other natural flavors. And again, they're not telling you what they are. <laughs> you can even personalize these for Valentine's. We probably will be doing that. I think they'll just get consumed to and from with a happy watermelon slice. So you could even do these as a Valentine if you wanted to. But around here, like I said, that's probably not gonna happen. So you have eight pouches in this in this container. Look at that. Eight pouches in here, and each one is six ounces. And each one comes with a little straw. No HFCS, no high fructose corn syrup. That's lovely. So yeah, it's um little organic strawberry watermelon drink pouches. So I probably will not get to enjoy those. That's another one of those things I'll put in the refrigerator and then they're gone the next time I look. Now here is an item that was on the AOS with all of the Valentine's Day stuff. Look! Isn't this cool? Barissimo. These are chocolate delight flavored single serve cups. So they're like little K cups. And it's in this little thing you have. What flavors do you have? Oh my goodness. They're all different. You have 12 flavors what oh my gosh they're all different look at all these flavors you get chocolate strawberry chocolate neapolitan chocolate cinnamon roll chocolate coconut chocolate glazed donut rocky road brownie batter caramel brownie mocha lava cake chocolate caramel pecan cluster chocolate hazelnut and white chocolate strawberry. Wow. So this is a nice little gift set, isn't it? My goodness. Chocolate Delight. So if you like chocolate flavored coffee, this could be a nice little gift for you or someone else. That's just delightful. Usually with these sets like this, they will have duplicates. They'll have two or three of the same kind. Every single one of these is different. So you can have a different flavored coffee drink every day for 12 days. That's fantastic. And here we have this heart-shaped cutout. It's a little window. And you can see, in case you don't know what K-cups look like, you can see some of them just peeking out. Not all of them. The ones here, let's see, 4, 8, 12. That one you can't see. It's, it's sad because you, well, you can't see that one either. But you can see most of them. Each one has a little picture of the dessert too. Like a caramel brownie. And brownie batter. Ooh, chocolate hazelnut. Chocolate strawberry. Just everything. My goodness. So that was a cool little thing I found. This was another thing on the seasonal aisle. This is creamy cashew butter. And this is from Simply Nature. Um, it's non-GMO. It doesn't say it's organic. It's no stir. So this is one that you don't have to stir it up every time you go to get it out. Now this I believe was $4.99. And it's 12 ounces of creamy cashew butter. I don't know. I just thought it was something a little different. Instead it's just regular old peanut butter. Um, I don't think I've ever tried this, so this is going to be 
a new experiment, a, a new experience. I do like cashews. And while I was there, I grabbed this. Now this is also from Nature's Nectar. It's not organic though. This is like V8 Splash. This is berry blend flavor, an excellent source of vitamin C. And it comes in this nice 64 ounce bottle right here. It goes all the way up to the top. And this is, this is a very popular juice around here. I think everybody likes it. I didn't realize we were out. My kids don't always tell me when we run out of things. I just have to discover for myself or wait for them to complain that I haven't replaced it. Because I should just know. But, yeah, it's actually really good. They used to have another flavor. I, I think it was mango something or other. But they haven't had any in several months. They've only had the berry blend. I kind of wish they'd bring the other one back. But, I, for some reason, they I, either maybe they just don't sell it anymore. But it was really good, too. But now all they have is the berry blend. Okay, now I'm going to show you the two things I went in there to get. These were the two main things I went in there to get. We have a decorative waste bin. We don't even want to call it a trash can. It's a decorative waste bin. It's a white crosshatch. And you can see here, it's a little step, a little step thing. And I have one in, in the bathroom down, downstairs. This is going to go in mine upstairs. That's stainless steel that I also got at Aldi. That's just made the same way. It has a removable inner bin for easy cleaning and trash removal. It has a little handle so you can just lift it right out. It's the neatest thing. And I've had the one in the bathroom down here for over a year and it still works great. And it has a decorative finish. It has the cross hatched finish to it. And here they show it next to a toilet being all fashionable. Look at it. It's just very proud of itself. So I'm going to get one. I thought I'm going to get one and put it in my bathroom. Because the trash can I have in there now is ugly and I don't like it. It says it's easy clean, hands free, and rust resistant. Well, very nice. And here we see it again. It has a soft close lid, removable inner bin for easy cleaning and trash removal, and it's a 1.16 gallon capacity, hands-free foot operated bin. So here's the, see, it has a crosshatch design to it. It's very lovely. These, I think they were $9.99 for these little trash cans. And this was the last one. And it's mine, and I'm very proud of it, that I'm glad I got there when I did. So, now you see what, this is what the trash bin looks like. And then they had this toilet brush that was supposed to match. Personally, I don't think it does. But I bought it anyway. See, it's, it has a marble finish to it. It's, I think it's actually metal. And it has just a finish over it that looks like marble. But isn't it lovely? This was only $9.99 as well. It has a weighted base, strong bristles to clean toilet, decorative metal handle with a discreet lid. Yeah, nobody's going to know what that is sitting next to your toilet, so it's a good thing it's discreet. You'll just confuse everybody. They'll think it's like your magician's wand or something. But see, I don't really know that this marble goes with that crosshatch. But we won't we won't think about it too. We're not gonna overthink it too much. So yeah, this is awesome. It's a freestanding design. Keeps your bathroom tidy and organized. All with a toilet brush. Did you know a toilet brush could do that? I didn't. Freestanding design, tip resistant weighted base. Don't kick it though. Long lasting brush. Decorative canister for discreet storage solution. Strong bristles. So, yeah. Now, I don't really know. It seems to me, if I were going to sell these together, I would have either made this the same crosshatch design as the waste bin, or I would have given this the same marble coating as this. 
but they're going to go together anyway. I mean, they're going to match better than what I have in there now. I have a Mr. Clean brush in there right now and a little sad looking little trash can I got at Dollar Tree. So this is going to be much more fancy than what I already have. So anything is an improvement. And these were the last two things I had to show you today. And these are both from Easy Home, which is another Aldi brand. So those were the last two things I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I will see you again really soon.